Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing System Test 16, so let's get started. But hold on, where are we? Well, we're certainly not in the basement. Right now we're in the garage. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and added an expansion. So right up there, I have a Wheelock E50 speaker strobe. You can see it's surface mounted with conduit. Uh, it actually goes down to this pole station here. This is a Firelight BG12. Uh, you can see, again, everything's done with conduit. I think it looks pretty good. I would then offset bends if I had a bender, but that's fine. So yeah, nothing really special about this. Over here, I have a enunciator. This is the first time I've actually had an enunciator on the system, so that's really good. This is a Notifier N ANN80. It's a ANN80, except it's Notifier branded, and the color of it is obviously black, which is pretty cool. And then it's already blocked by crap, but all of this just goes into that box right there, and then it goes into the basement. So that's that. Back in the basement, we have a Wheelock E70 speaker strobe. Pretty much everything on the system is a Wheelock speaker strobe, so you can probably guess the theme of today's test. Up there, we have a notif uh, not notifier, system sensor I3. Uh, here we have a Firelight BG12. This is the older version with the uh, old logo, so that's that. Following over here, we have a Wheelock E70 speaker strobe once again. As you can see, these are all mounted on their listed back boxes. I think it looks really nice. Down here, I have a Notifier NBG12L. Uh, this is a slightly newer version, but again, it has its own back box, and I think it looks really nice that way. We go into the fire museum. On the ceiling, we have, oops, wrong light. We have a Wheelock E90 speaker strobe. It's the exact same as the other speaker strobes out there, except it's white and ceiling mount. And then we have this older ionization smoke detector. This particular one is rebranded by FCI. So that's that. And then finally, if we can go into the bathroom, we have this Wheelock RSS remote strobe. This one is a fixed 1575 model, um, but it does look pretty cool and it matches the rest of the system. And then finally, we have to go into the panel room, which is right here. In the panel room, we have the panel, obviously, voice evacuation driver. Up here, we have another Wheelock E70 speaker strobe. I happened to put this one behind the cage just because I had it, and I was like, why not? Uh, but once again, this is the exact same speaker strobe that you've seen in the rest of the basement. Down here, I have another variant of the BG12. This particular one is under a stopper, as you can see, kind of going with the caged theme. This is a FCI BG12. Um, this is a PDI version, so it's a little older. Sort of matches the time period. And then once again, I have this Genesis speaker strobe for the carbon monoxide system, as well as the carbon monoxide detector. And then I have a 2400, which I haven't changed in a little bit. So that's that. At this point, let's go ahead and head out to the garage to activate the system. Here we go. May I have your attention, please? A fire emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave the building by the nearest exit or exit stairway. Go into the basement. May I have your attention, please? A fire emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave the building by the nearest exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevators. May I have your attention, please? A fire emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave the building by the nearest exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevators. May I have your attention, please? A fire emergency. So there you go. Obviously, the uh, thing behind me just started up, so it might be a little difficult to hear. Um, but that's that. So as you can see, I have it on the original or older safe path message, which I think is pretty iconic for this style of speaker strobe. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and reset that pole station in the garage, and then we can go ahead and reset the system. 
cool thing about having the enunciator is I don't have to run all the way down to the basement. I can just reset here and then click reset and then the system will reset on its own. Now, obviously I have the piezo disabled. That's just because I find it extremely annoying. It just goes screeching every time anything happens. I would do the same if you could disable the piezo on the regular panel without damaging it. I don't think there's an option for that. So unfortunately I just listened to it. Suppose since we're already out at the garage, we can go ahead and test the outdoor portion now. All right, let's go for it. You can probably hear the speaker strobe from the distance. Unfortunately, the camera does refuse to pick up these strobe flashes, but it is flashing. And then while I'm at it, I'm also going to activate this pull station, just so that way it shows up on the panel. And of course, this one is broken, so... Oh, look at that, there's a spider. Alright, not going to touch that. So I've gone ahead and set the tone as something else. This is going to be the newer safe path message and tone. So let's go ahead and activate this pull station. So lift this stopper cover and then push and pull. There you go. Let's go ahead and reset this pull station. Put that stopper back on. And there we go. Let's go ahead and test the 2400 while we're at it. So now we're going to use the fancy magnet on a stick apparatus to test this FCI detector. I honestly forgot where this test thing is at, so I'm just going to... Oh, no, did I set it off? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, okay, that works. All right, so I went ahead and set the system to play the Potter Evax tone when activated. I actually got this message from 4050 80s YouTube channel, so just a quick reference and thank you there. Let's go ahead and activate it. Go ahead and reset this pull station before I forget. Before I conclude today's test with the finale, which will be the functional test with the fog machine, I'm going to go ahead and test the carbon monoxide detector. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Use our fancy pool stick apparatus. Now I can't even push the, oh, there it is. Warning, carbon monoxide. Please evacuate the building. Gone ahead and put my fog machine in this box and put it right under a detector. So let's go ahead and start the fire. There it goes. May I have your attention, please? A fire emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave the building by the nearest exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevators. exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevators. All right, there it is. That activated fairly fast comparatively. Uh, obviously, this fog is not the densest. I kind of diluted it with some water, so that's why it might have taken a little more time. But all in all, that was a pretty reasonable activation time. I wonder if the other I3 over there is going to activate because there's quite a bit going everywhere. No, not probably. You can see it is really starting to spread out. But yeah, that's that. Well, thank you for watching today's video. Uh, I don't think I tested this pull station yet, so actually I'm going to do that. I'm going to wait until all this clears, and then I'm going to reset and set the tone one last time. Code four. There we are. Well, thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed the expansion and everything that was new. And as always, thank you for watching.